Hi there everyone, my name is Safwan and today I'm going to be talking about Makefile, why is it important and how to use it. So Makefile basically is used to compile C or C++ files together. For example, I have here three C++ files. One is my main file that contains my main function and the other two is basically animal class. So I have animal header file over here and that contains just uh, print function. Um, the second file is obviously my animal.cpp which contains my the actual code and I have included everything so that the program runs perfectly. Um, so let's start with the main make file. So go ahead and write make file. Um, Make sure to start off with a capital M because that's how it does. So once you've to made the make file, uh, the make file is in my file directory where I have my main and animal class. So as you can see, I have a make file here. Let's just open that. And first thing you write is all. So all just specifies what part of what file. Or what name um, would you call your program up on? So let's say I just give prog, prog one, and so my prog one over here. I need to, I need to specify what uh, files do I want prog one to have. So prog one would have my main one dot cpp and my animal dot o so i'll come back to animal dot o in a little while let's just talk about this first so over here let's say prog1 is a container and in this container you want to put in main one dot cpp and animal dot o files so this first line is just stating that what you're going to do the second line is actually doing it so go ahead go to the second line Press tab and write g plus plus dash o prog one main.cpp and animal.o. So the second line is basically you're linking your main and your animal file with your prog one. Um, that's what this dash o stands for, it just stands for linking. So you guys might be asking what is this animal.o file? Animal.o this is as for object file. So go ahead and write animal.o and again the first line is stating what you're gonna put into it. So in this animal.o file I'm gonna put in my animal.cpp and animal.h file. And so these two files, let's say are going inside this object file and in the second line what we're just going to do is we're going to compile our code so we'll write dash c for compile and we're just going to use compile animal.cpp because animal.cpp is the only file that contains the code for this animal class animal.header this header file does not contain any code it just contains reference to the functions function calls. So you can write animal.h here if you want to, but it's not necessary, so I just won't do it. The last thing you want to do is add a clean function. This clean function basically let's go to the next line tab and rm. So rm starts to remove dash f for force star dot o Prog one. So this line basically says you're removing all your object files and your program one from the um, directory or from the memory. So go ahead, save it. Uh, you'll see why this comes in handy later on. So I think I've explained all of this. Um, let me just go to my terminal and just write make. This is a command which calls make file. Okay, I have an error here. 
which is main one. Okay, that's a silly mistake. Um, let's just call it again. Everything works fine. Dot dash prog one. This is basically the name that we've given to call our program. And it says I'm an animal, just like it's supposed to say. So if we just go back to our directory, um, if you remember, we did not have this animal.o file. This was just created after we said make. Now, if you want to get rid of this compiled version, you just write make clean and the animal.o file just disappeared, so it's gone. And if you write make again, it's going to come back. So this was this is just the way um, you can go about with Makefile. I'll just show one last example on how to add another file to it. So I have my dragon class over here. So if I just open this to file up, I'll have so dragon file um, in the CPP file. I have a Prints function just gonna, just going to print out I'm a dragon and it's just stating okay fine I have this function um, so now if we just go to main we need to include our dragon header file and we need to create a dragon object so let's just say d and d dot I don't know why I get that name, but whatever. So I'm calling this function on this. Now the only thing left is to link this dragon file. So it's the same like we did before. So in our program one, we're saying we'll have animal.cpp animal sorry main.cpp animal.o and our dragon dot o and we're setting the first line, second line, we're gonna implement it, so we write dragon.o so it's just going to link dragon.o file with our probe one file and secondly what we need to do is go to the next line and state what dragon.o file we have so dragon.o file will have our dragon dot cpp and dragon dot h file. Um, this semicolon, this column is a must here, guys. Um, this O you can put it anywhere in this line, mm, but I just like to put it over here. Um, that's how I'm used to it, I guess. So. G++ you can say G++ compile your dragon.cpp file and this should be it so let's just make thing first and then make and I'm gonna call dot program and I have my I am a dragon so that's all guys uh, about make file. Thanks for watching this video. Um, yep.